Hey guys, this is Manak, your civil bro. So today we are in the day 15 of the lecture of the STAT Pro SAFE and RCDC tutorial series of our building structural design. So in RCDC, we are going to design file camp. So first of all, we open RCDC, right? And uh, as usual, we open the STAT file and we continue to uh, design the file foundation. Just write one 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 here and uh, give the location of the file as usual. So before in the earlier videos, uh, we had gone through all the procedures of STAD. We had uh, solved another live project, and after that, in RCDC, we had done the detailing of that particular building in for columns, for beams, and for footings. Now we are going to go for file cap. So uh, just we are going to create a new project. All the data will be imported and uh, as usual, we'll save the file first. So it will be RCDC and the store file cap. And then click on save. So after that, we just go to import the column data. So RCDC column, the columns we have designed, it will take the sizes, take the reinforcement, take the loads uh, for all those modified columns. Right. So now we have the column data and we'll just uh, go through the general settings. M25 uh, will use for the five caps and FP550 is available reinforcement. And uh, the cover uh, can be 50, can be 75. We'll do 75 mm and uh, 75. So file spacing 2.55. It is good. Live load reduction is okay. Uh, this is all, uh, you know. Uh, this is uh, okay here and uh, preferred configuration number of piles minimum number of piles is three file diameter and permissive number of piles three four five six okay so now design options are there so design the design options so file capacity design 1.5 capacity file shear check consider overburden provide top steel obviously we'll provide top steel in the file uh, capacity and file number is uh, num numbering will be uh, continuous one two three and this is uh, by, de uh, by default okay so and then we'll just click on okay and in the design reinforcement settings we have this minimum bottom area minimum steel maximum steel uh, we are all good with this just click on okay and in the settings, we have the detailing and drawing settings. This is also uh, okay here. And uh, next is the pile capacity. So the most important thing is the pile capacity, tension capacity, shear capacity, pile diameter. So uh, we're going to open a soil, you know, uh, soil test report. And as, then as per the soil test report, we're going to uh, design, uh, input all this data, okay? So this is the soil test report. You can take a screenshot of this. So uh, for, for the re your reference. So we're we'll going to give a pile of 22 meter depth and a diameter of 500 mm. 500 mm dia, 22 meter depth, and the pile capacity, as you can see, is it is in ton, 42, 42 ton. So what we'll do, I'll just open the calculator. So 42 ton, first of all, we'll convert it to kg, 42 into 1000. It is 42,000 kg. Now, kg I'll convert it into Newton. For converting kg into Newton, just multiply it by 9.81. So it is 412020 Newton. Now, converting Newton into kilonewton, it will be divided by 1000. So it will be 412.02 kilonewton. So uh, here uh, in the RCDC, pile diameter, first of all, I'll just take this and uh, pile diameter, it is 500 mm and compression capacity is uh, 412 kilo 412 point uh, i'll just mention the point also 0 0.02 kilonewton okay it is it is up to one place of placement so i'll click, take 412 right 412 tension capacity also same 412 and uh, shear capacity let's give uh, like 200 kilonewton here uh, if you just uh, see here pile capacity in detail also i'll show you the report uh, here for the pile this is for the 10 meter pile now this is for the 10 meter pile again 
this is also for 10 meter this is also for 10 meter so we'll find the board logs for the 10 meter pile here and these are the diagrams so one from the board log also you can just find the things and from this also so this is our pile of uh, uh, detailed report of the 532 meter pile and you can see this is the uh, you know 2.5 factor of 50 is always uh, taken for 0.5 meter pile and uh, mainly you know the capacity which is calculated uh, you know axial load bearing capacity is calculated 42 ton so axial load bearing capacity is calculated 42 ton so we'll uh, just uh, do this and then click on uh, we can click on okay right so let's just click on okay here and uh, now the pile is okay now basic load cases as usual we'll just uh, uh, do earthquake x earthquake z earthquake z so dead load and uh, after the dead load this will be of my live load and select all these four take it here click on okay uh, here at home template for regular structure sizing also at home template from regular structure click on okay right so my this thing is done now file configuration so file configuration is done and uh, here you can see three number of files in all the files because in my this is minimum right so now you can go design and auto design so the file cap has been designed so according to the capacity we get a number of file if then if the capacity exceeded then it will, it will be three or more than three it will be four it can be five so depending on the capacity the number of files are decided and the configuration is fixed and based on the other courses the file cap is designed if you see file cap thickness is 300 mm and uh, you want the drawings just uh, the just click on this and this will be the file cap layout or the file layout you can simply just uh, write that and then in the report you will have the text schedule vertical schedule horizontal schedule you can just uh, see here horizontal schedule so this is the pile cap uh, thickness and uh, along l along b like this the dia of uh, files three dia three three piles of 500 dia size you can see thickness you can see so all this basically reinforcement arrangement you can find of the for the piles here like this so uh, i can save this uh, file cap uh, schedule click on save and then uh, reports and then detailed drawing for all pile cap we want uh, then just uh, click on okay so this is the detailed drawing for the files here. So just save this drawing. File schedule already saved. File schedule two details. I'll just try detail and then click on OK. And uh, you know when you are done with this, then you can go to reports and uh, then go to design summary, design calculation, pile capacity check and sizing. So all this you can, let's see for one pile. Okay, you have to wait for some time. So you can see the report here, pile capacity. You want to see it in detail, just uh, save it. I told you for saving it, just press Ctrl plus P and then print. And then uh, file capacity. So you can just uh, see it in the reports here. So I'll just open the file. You can see it from here. The loads taken, uh, these are mentioned. And you can see uh, the file number permissible SBC for EQ permissible 
file cap size. So all of the things are mentioned here and file capacity vector calculations. So you can submit the reports if you want, right? So this you can find the file capacity and design summary and design calculation, uh, design summary for all the files you can save. So we can just write here, uh, file design summary. So we can find out from here the file design summary. And uh, then uh, you can find the BOQ, like we said, BOQ, and you can find generate the BBS. So of course, you can generate the BBS for here, generate. So the BBS uh, generation will uh, take some time for the file cap. And after that, it will be generated like this. And you can see. So we can both the top layer of the file and the bottom layer of the file of BBS is generated along with the bar shape, along with the diagram and everything. You can see PCC, there is a file cap, the files go like this. You can save this file. So it is the file cap BBS, right? Click on save. So this is also saved here, right? So now, so this is all for the file design. And basically, uh, you can design the file cap from here and file design, uh, file capacity will get from the soil test reports. As we can uh, see here, what, what is the capacity of the file, everything you'll find from the soil test report. And uh, using the soil test report, you can also design file using any MS Excel, just you have to put the you know diameter and the uh, and this uh, capacity and you can find design the reinforcement the of the file in MS Excel. So I'll show you that in another video. But generally, the most important thing is to find out number of files in each column uh, in single go, under each column in single go, and also the file cap uh, design. So here you can see the file cap design. If it was a larger building, it could be four, it could be five, it could be six. But since it is a, in only a small building, so that's why only three, that is the minimum uh, number of files under a file cap has been designed. So that's all for today. Uh, make sure you like the video because it helps out a lot and keep learning. Bye-bye.